you welcome back the show is still political spectrum reaching you live from the very beautiful hills of Ibiakuran here in our Kwaibom state. You yeah, are doing well to join us on our different social media platforms on Facebook and of course on Instagram with the handle Spectrum TV. Yeah, um, we've we'll been talking about the uh, we'll be talking about women in politics, women taking up political roles, leadership roles uh, in different factors. We don't see that coming. Uh, um, we don't see that happening uh, um, in, in, a, in a higher scale, but yeah, they, they are doing well in that. So today we'll be considering why, 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 why so, why are they not um, involved in actively in uh, politics and of course in other leadership positions. And in the studio right now, I am pleased to have uh, uh, in my company uh, a lady uh, the leader of the Female Voices in Aquaibum State International President of Female Voices in the person of Victoria Uko, Lady Victoria Uko. So good to have you in our studios. Thank you so much. Yeah, how do you do? I'm fine. Yeah, uh, we don't seem to see, I, I just want to jump right in at, at the questions. Why do you think um, women are not really, you know, represented in the affairs of governance and in politics as a whole. They're not taking the larger percentage. Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why um, women are not involved in politics, mm -hmm. maybe is because they think the opportunity is not for them. Mm. Or if they should come out, they, um, they will not uh, be giving them the platform for them to showcase um, their um, um, the kind of um, leadership and um, roles, and um, but um, facts be told that um, women they have um, these um, leadership roles because they are the leaders in different families, mm -hmm. so they should not um, see themselves as being inferior mm. in leading. Okay. Because I see the reason why some of them do not want to come out mm -hmm. that people will, will see them as being wayward. Mm. Because in the society now, they, they, they see people, women that bless politics as being wayward. And that is the main reason why some of us that have the intellect and those leadership roles to stay back. So I'm encouraging everyone, every woman, mm -hmm. every woman, woman to please come out, mm -hmm. say your word, take a stand, you can lead, now, it's for everyone. In as much as we are advocating for 35% of women inclusiveness in politics, now let's take a look at that. Do you think, or what difference would it make if we have women in positions of power? Do you think it would change anything in, in governance? Yeah, yeah, it will definitely. So how so? Um, because um, I really want to commend um, um, the regime of um, His Excellency, the former president of um, Nigeria, mm -hmm. um, Good Luck Jonathan. For okay. at least he imp he implemented that mm -hmm. the thirty five percent um, okay. inclusion of women in politics, mm -hmm. and um, from then the. Um, his wife, mm -hmm. then patients, yes, took it from there, and and from there we had so many women in these um, small scale um, of leadership, okay. in terms of being a counselor, mm -hmm. supervisor, and um, board leaders, commissioners, and if you see, if you should see, if you want to check it now, the thirty five percent um, inclusion of women, particularly in a quite bomb state um, based on the local government level okay. at, and at, at least let me commend the governor of Aquaibom State, His Excellency, um, Mr. Udomo Gabriel Emmanuel, for at least at the go local government level, okay. the councillors we have it, let me say, if not 95 percent, okay. let me say it's 80, 80 percent okay. because we have so many female councillors, we have so many female appointees, okay. we have so many female um, um, supervise, um, uh, yes, supervisors. Okay. But if you if if you go into the study school, I think we have only three women there, and the thirty five percent. So, so do, you feel, do you feel women are being relegated to the rural level? Uh, in terms of because that is where decisions are, are being taken. Okay. Uh, I, I don't think that our voice are being heard uh, okay. at the at the executive council because we have only three women. So, but I really want to commend the wife, mm. uh, Doctor uh, Martha Udomi. Manua, 
um, the first level of Kwewe Homestead, our very good mother that speaks for the interests of the women, um, I really want to commend her because he has tried, she has tried very well and the husband, but I, in terms of 35% at the, at the um, uh, state, um, state level. level, in terms of um, those that are taking decision, we have okay. little women there. Okay. So if they want to do a kind of, let's take a vote, if there is something that they want to say, okay, let's vote for. How, how many women are going to go for voting? It's only men. Men will go for the addition now. And the women will, as in, will be exempted because three people cannot vote against um, 80 some, uh, 18 people. Okay. Sure, you know. So, so you're not saying that more women. So how, yes. do, how do you think what could be done to have more women, you know, being uh, nominated or maybe elected into uh, uh, positions at, at the state executive? Very simple, very simple. Um, another thing, yes, my opinion there is that, um, you, you know, I used to agitate for um, a, educating the girl child. Mm -hmm. um, if you should go into um, local government levels, um, you will see that when they want to check how many women are being educated and are polite and can stand out and defend mm -hmm. themselves and defend both the women, the child, the, those vulnerables, you can see that some of the women, they are educated, but those that have the interest of the women at heart and the men at heart, mm. they are being, they are not educated. Oh. They are not educated, but they can come out and speak if you should give them the opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know, there will be a certain place that they will not need our language, Ibi mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, Oron, in terms of um, representing the whole state, mm -hmm. but we know we, we have we have um, so many people, uh, so many of our women that are doctors. Now let doctors. me get you straight. Is that does that go a long way to say that the educated most of the educated women are not in politics? Yes, they are not in politics. They are not involved in politics. Mm -hmm. um, they they see um, uh, um, politics as being something that uh, people are forbidding. Um, a, 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 a learned woman um, is not permitted to be there because when you, when you are learned, you're supposed to be a lecturer or a teacher or that. Uh, whereas we have to change our perspective, we have to change the way we think. When you are learned, come out. Come on, represent us. Let's have more people in the decision-making bodies. Mm -hmm. Come out. Uh, because uh, um, these, uh, if you are learned, you'll be able to speak out. Mm -hmm. And when you speak, you know, we, 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 we have so many sets of people. Mm -hmm. We have people that are born leaders and, and people that are being made, uh, yes, leaders that are being made. You develop from somewhere, mm -hmm. you have a mentor. But there are people that they are born leaders from, from birth. Okay. And so those people now, because before these ones that have been mentored will now come out, they, they will be that, that kind of um, um, intimidating spirit. I don't want to come out to my, my mentor said when you want to speak. But those that are born leaders, they will be able to speak out, defend themselves, know what they, uh, know what they, they want to say and know what they want because when you know what you want you will speak for it and you will go for it so i really want to encourage well the okay now let's look at another angle to it okay. i was having a conversation with someone uh some days back then the a, a man actually so it was like uh if, if you have um, a woman in power as a president now when you're doing introduction as in a public function and you're like, uh, let's introduce the president uh, of the Federal Republic of blah, 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 and in the person of Mrs. and her spouse, Mrs. That it doesn't just sound right. Now, how far has this uh, women organization, because I understand you work for uh, Voice of Women, how far has that gone in um, rehabilitating or maybe uh, changing the mindset of men towards uh, women in, uh, in leadership positions? leadership positions that's the mindset of men like having the women you know they're used to having women in the back in the side yeah. running the side now how do they feel is there anything done by your organization to change the mindset of men towards women in position yeah a, a lot has been done towards it mm -hmm. you know um last term last month 26th yes, of uh, november i organized a summit 
um, tact my voice, my rights um, at um, government office annex. We didn't talk about say we, we you. Um, my voice, my rights was a kind of um, concept that I brought to be able to coach the women okay. and also to tell the men that we can do better if our voice could be heard. That there are some women that are struggling for their voices to be heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you look at them, um, okay, let's go into let's 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 go into um, a village. Um, uh, um, council of village heads. Okay. You know, you will not see any woman there. Mm. They don't always include um, um, uh, a woman there. Okay. Uh, you will only have a woman, uh, the women leader, being taken as in, as in uh, the person, the woman leader will not be in their meeting when they are taking decisions for the whole village. And the same thing is in the secular world. So that goes a long way to show that. Uh, are you saying that? Um, uh, culture is also posing as a threat. Yeah, yeah. So how 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 is that playing out? Is there a way you you, you reached out to these uh, traditional rulers to have women represented yes. there? Yes, I really want to commend them. Um, um, one woman, you know, I did a sensitization. Um, uh, I went to uh, one village in Sarah village, you know, kind of from local government area. I met with the village head. I I. I, I went for a, a kind of um, advocacy visit okay. um, that I want um, the small uh, young women to come out and do something like skill acquisition. I wanted to organize a skill acquisition for them so that they can be um, useful to themselves and the village there and the society. So the, the village had said that uh, that is very impressed by that kind of um, 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 innovation. Um, yes, innovation. And he also went ahead to tell me that, do you know that I have a woman in my in my governing council? I said, wow, sir, it's not possible. He said, it's possible. I have a woman, and that woman is your mother. He said, eh? And my mother could not even tell me that he is that she's one of the governing council. I said, okay, thank you very much. I must commend you for that. Okay, sure. So when I. I Came back. I made. I, I discussed it with my mother. I asked my mother. You see, he said yes. Any meeting that they used to have, I, 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 I used to be there because of the influence that the woman have. Okay. The woman can speak out. Okay. Used to speak out. To if if something comes um, for the women, and they say that it's fifty fifty. You, even if you want to kill her, okay. you must make it to be fifty fifty. But there are some women. Some of our women that. Hey, my husband said. The the village had said because if you don't speak out. Nothing will be done. And if you don't speak out, your voice will not be heard. Okay. Now let's talk about the place of women groups. Because we have seen a number of women groups come on board. Yeah. Maybe social political groups. So how well is this group fostering the affairs of women in terms of pushing women out there to, you know, go for leadership positions? Or are they just there to cheer the men on? I don't, I, I will not really uh, uh, speak for them. Mm. I will not really speak for them. But there are some groups that I know that, that are speaking for the sake of the women. Like my group, a of Female Voices for Good Governance, is not just um, a group that we go out there to agitate for whoever that want to come out for or vying for a certain position. We, we, I organized this group, I formed this group for us to also speak for the interest of the women. Mm. Say our mind. That if, if that if, if that this is what we want, we need you. We promote good governance. So if there are some, if there are so many or other um, um, association of women that are out there to come out in, in, in support to speak for the women, it it will be it will be better. But I we have so many political groups which which I know they have so many members across um, all the the one local government in in the state, and maybe with that because they are grooming the young women to come out for leadership. Sure, you understand. Now, let's because talk about the grooming part of it. Yeah. What are those specific things you are telling the younger generation so that they could take up or maybe key into the vision of having more women in, in, in position, position of power? You know, um, you know uh, having those um, members there, uh, one of the ways that uh, one can encourage them 
to take a leadership position is by organizing summits, synthesize them, mentor them, have a meeting with them one-on-one, -on -one. let one of them come and take a certain position, certain role, and then, then describe the roles for them. You know, we have um, some leadership roles and responsibilities. Okay. So if you just have a group or an association without intimating them on the leadership roles, all this and that, they will not be able, they will think that it's just for politics when they will call for maybe for mobilization that um, this person wants to do this, they will just come and go. That's, that is the perspective that they will have. But if you make them, if you organize um, things like sensitization, so now, um, can you just let us in on these roles? You, you okay. keep talking about roles. Uh, okay, roles. we what have some roles? leadership roles like respect. Mm. Um, respect, um, respect for elders. Then, um, you know, when someone is in politics now and you have um, maybe a leadership position, maybe in, in politics, the, those elders there, you will be suppressing them okay. because you are there. So number one thing is respect for elders. And when you respect yourself, you'll be able to respect others. Another one is love and care. If you don't love someone, there is, there is no how you will speak good of that person. Mm. Uh -huh, those are the, another one is humility. In leadership, humility matters a lot. Because, if, uh, because those members, those your followers, they are monitoring you. They are going the way you are going. Where you step your foot is where they will follow. So if you are this person that is being um, in, in so insulting, and if you look at that group, the members, it will be the same. So a um, 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 very important thing is respect, humility, love, and um, um, encouragement. Okay. Encourage them that, um, if you respect, you know, if you should go to Yoruba area, those Yorubas, mm. they respect elders. Okay. Um, so um, those three things are the major things. Now let's talk about funding because funding seems to pose more threats and maybe make women to, you know, abstain or maybe shy away from going into politics. How is funding like for women in political? Do you do like contributory to, to push one person? Like how do you fund? Uh, how, do, how do you think women can put up funds to push themselves forward? Okay, in terms of political groups, um, uh, before you, you create a group, you must have your, your objectives, your vision, what you are aiming at. Um, maybe some, I, you, I wouldn't want to talk um, for others, because like me, before I... I formed my group. I was the first elected um, female student and president worldwide in Akwai Boom State. Then how that group was funded was from Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Welfare. Mm. So from that um, idea that I had, any time that we want to do any occasion, and by that time it, uh, it was the, um, the Dean of Commissioners, and she was still the Dean of Commissioners, Dr. Glory Ede, that was the then Commissioner for Women Affairs, mm. but she's now Commissioner for Agriculture. So she's, she was the one, you know, the woman likes women, um, anything pertaining women. Okay. Yeah, she likes supporting and she's very generous. So we used to write for proposal, if we want to do anything, we write for proposal and we write for sponsorship and partnership. So uh, at that angle, that, that was how I, I, I operated and I succeeded to be hosting um, sensitization summit against rep. A stop rep and I organized the first um, uh, um, football tournament in the in the state 2017. Then, for my own noun as the international president of Couple of Female Voices for Good Governance, I have um, patrons, matrons, now uh, that are funding. Patrons, yeah, yeah. But these patrons and matrons have they in any way be clouded your opinion as a group to a no, government? Yeah. You know, before you, you, I don't know for others. But just before you respond to that question, we'll go on a brief timeout. When we return, political spectrums continues. Don't go anywhere, stay with us.